You're attending a graduation ceremony. It isn't your graduation ceremony, but somehow you become the focus of attention. A citation is being read about you. You're being recognized as a father figure of distinction. You score high marks for being caring, supportive, and respectful. For being an example of what a man ought to be. You're being recognized for your exceptional work as a father by your stepdaughter. This is the measure of my guest, Howard Heslop, stepfather of Travesha Watson. Good evening. This is Profile. I am Faye Ellington. that we now live in. I frame this picture, though it may not be enough to compensate you, to compensate you for all the exceptional work that you have done. Now, if you don't mind, I would love it if you would stand and give this man, Howard Eslop, a round of applause. is for you, my mom, and my siblings. So someday I'll make it possible for all of you to be able to put your feet on a table in a luxurious home without any bills or debts. And that's a promise. And you know I, I always keep my promises. Long live a man, I say, more life, love, and prosperity. Sir Howard, when you look at that thing and you remember the day on the 14th of November 2018 when your stepdaughter organized for that to be done to recognize you, how you feel that afternoon when you heard that being said? I, I was so surprised. I didn't have a clue. I didn't have a clue. At that time, when I announced it, I, it's a bittersweet feel, feeling. I cry. I laugh, I cry, I laugh, but at the end of the day, I feel great. When you look at it a while ago, I noticed your little, your eyes teared up a little bit. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, just a proud moment. A proud, a proud moment, moment indeed. Yeah. What's your uh, stepdaughter's name? Trevisha Watson. Tell me about her. What kind of young person is she? She's a very nice, quiet, and, um, you know, caring for her siblings, you know. No problem, no trouble. She was graduating from St. Mary Technical no, at the she time. Did, she did graduate, um, she did graduate in, in June, in yes. June. Yes. But what you see there is um, the she went giving. back for a yeah, the for prize. prize Where yeah. is she now? What school is she at? Um, first, um, first, first, I can't know. She's at St. Mary High? Yeah, sixth form. The sixth form. First, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, lower six. Okay. Lower six. Lower, lower six, yeah. six. And, and uh, did she ever tell you what she wants to become, what career or profession she wants to pursue? You know, you know she, um, she just do her thing. She just do her thing. I don't really, I don't really, um, you know, question it. One of the times she did tell me said, um, she, um, about um, public health inspector, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you I just support her. I just support them. I just yeah. support them. Yeah. Now, what is them. interesting about this story is that she's your stepdaughter, mm -hmm. but you are not with her mother anymore, but you yeah. are there for her still. Right. True. How would right, that true. go? Listen, um, I, uh, all right, our mother and I broke off. Yes. But obviously, after the, after the amount of time she spent with, with me and our mother, I mother broke her to figure that she just going to stay with me. Cause listen, she was doing graphic to um to care, you understand? And yeah. that is what I am. That is what I stand for for them. You understand? So when even when the mother decided to leave, she decided to stay. But you understand? See? What happened is that um the mother um bring them with her. Yes. Three of them. So she bring them with her. 
when she started the relationship yeah, yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. No, when, when, when it broke off. When it oh, broke she off. took them from she the took home. Them yeah. Back yeah. from the home. Mm -hmm. And before a week, before the week finished, them find them way up back. So you have to my house. You have two children with that lady. Yeah, two and she the step one. And this right. Mm -hmm. Or because so the mother had three and uh, two of them are your biological children, exactly, but the exactly. stepdaughter. Exactly. How would yeah. you describe this young lady? Really? She's very special, she's such a caring, but she went beyond just caring to show her appreciation for you. Yeah, um you see, as I'm saying, as I'm saying, I have five kids and one step one. But because, because I am the old um, activity and that lady, which is the 14th, this is my birthday. The 14th of November? It's my birthday. Oh, so she acknowledged you on your birthday and as my well? Birthday, yeah, it's my birthday. The same day, it's my birthday. So you never pick up that she was planning anything at all? No, you know, because um, I, um, I, I went to Kingston to look about business. And I want to tell you something. This, apart from this blazer, this is the suit that she put in the car for me to wear on the day. Travesha put the clothes this. in the car for you to wear to prize giving? Yes. But I still never pick up the rig. So when I when I came back, when I came back to the and come back to the prize giving, um, she met me at the gate and she said to me, um, go and change the clothes. <laughs> go and change the clothes. I would tell her, I said, listen, the clothes that I'm, I'm having on, you can't wear. She said, no, go and change it. I said, listen, the time is already passed. I said, Look, them can't wear. And she and she, you know. She never really wanted to accept it, but she eventually accepted it. So you didn't change into this? No, so I never changed into this. So you're wearing this. it today to show her exactly. your appreciation. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. You, you were know? born in Kingston. Yeah. Uh, you spent your first seven years in Jodestown. You have yeah. any memories of those years? Yeah, 